Oh man, okay, you talked me out of it. <laughs> First, second, and third are okay though. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dork Side. It is I, a friendly neighborhood dork on the road. And this is my test ride, first impressions, and quote unquote review of the Husqvarna Vitpillen 401. That's right, I am the dork on the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever you want and I come with the mute button. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post awesome new content just like this. I am at Bill's Motorcycles Plus in Salem, Oregon doing a test ride of the Vitpillen 401 from Husqvarna. And I will tell you, first impressions, um, it's smashing me in an uncomfortable place. So I am not a sport bike guy. I ride a Versa 650, I ride a CRF250L, and I ride a Grom. So these, this lean forward, super sport, sport bike style ergos is um, something that is newish to me. So it's very weird to be leaning this far forward on a motorcycle. If you're a sport bike guy, I'm sure it's nothing new to you. Definitely not what I normally do. So first thing to know about the Vitpillen 401 is that it has a very aggressive sport bike style ergos. It has clip-ons, the bars are super low. If you saw my Svartpillen review, test ride, a lot of the, the motor and uh, power delivery and all that stuff will apply to this motorcycle too, but I'll try to, I'll try to talk about some of it anyway. So this is the, uh, the Vitpillen 401. It is the same motor, powertrain, and everything as the KTM 390 Duke, which is actually a very good thing because that motorcycle is well regarded. It's not a brand new engine. It's the, the, the engine out of the 390, so it's not like a first gen engine where they were still working out the bugs. They've had plenty of time to figure all that out. And so it is a good basis for a motorcycle like this. So you're, you're getting a good motor. They make a 401, they make a 701 of the Vitpillen. Vitpillen means white arrow, I'm pretty sure, in Swedish. And this is a single cylinder motorcycle. All of the Vitpillens and Svartpillens are single cylinder motorcycles. So it's a, a 400, it's like a 373, I think, actually, a single cylinder motorcycle. It's got Brembo brakes, they're called Vibrems or whatever, so it's not exactly Brembo, but it's the same company. Power delivery is smooth and unintimidating, yet I know from riding the other motorcycle that if I rip this throttle, if I twist it hard, this thing will get up and go. I think you could wheelie it pretty easily. So the thing I like about these bikes is they're, it's very light. It's not heavy at all. Um, it can flat foot it. It's got a low seat height. So that all of that is very easy. It's easy to deal with. It's not intimidating, um, especially if you're a new rider, the kind of things that new riders are concerned with, like getting your feet down and moving around parking lots and all that slow speed maneuver stuff. It's very light and easy. It's forgiving on that front. It's also not intimidatingly powerful, but it's definitely fun. This bike, when you twist the throttle, it's, it gets it for you. The, one of the guys here was just talking about how he rides his 401 uh, alongside his buddies on 600s and stuff. And in the twisties, they're about the same speed because he can corner it and accelerate so fast. Because power to weight ratio on these is insane because they're very, very light motorcycles. Fun, very fun power delivery. I'll be honest with you, the guy handed me a coupon because I did this demo ride and it got me seriously thinking about which bike would I trade in if I was gonna get one of these. That's a 701, smart pillin. If you haven't seen pictures of these bikes, you should check it out. I'll try to put a picture up of the bike, but really try to find a video of them in action. They are very unique looking motorcycles. Very severe looking, very uh, sharp lines. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a style that I feel like you either love it or you hate it. I think it looks kind of cool, but I could see how some people might not think it was as cool as I do. But very severe, like look at the tail on that bike in front of me. Exhaust on this one seems a little louder than on the Spark Pillin. This is the Vit, Vit Pillin Pilin. I don't know. I know I'm butchering that name. I'm sorry. My Swedish isn't amazing, but uh, please correct me. It reminds me a lot, and not in a bad way, so don't it, it, listen to my explanation. I guess don't take it and run with it. But it reminds me of the Grom in that uh, it's a bike that is fun to ride, and I don't worry about it too much. This thing is light and easy to flick. They're very agile. I think you could carve the crap out of some twisties with this thing. Both of them, really. But this one even more so because of the, the lean forward position. So um, they're both really great bikes from what I can tell. It's really a seating position and styling thing. Uh, these bikes would be insanely fun, I feel like, 
to take on a track day and just ride hard. It's the ultimate slow bike that you can ride fast. You could push this bike hard and not have to worry about holding back. Great bike to learn on for sure. I wouldn't say this Vitpillin is all day comfortable. I feel like this fart probably was. It's more upright as you can see. How do you sport bike guys keep your weight off the bars? This is, this is weird. I like the mirrors. I think these are stock because they all seem to have them. Well, not that one in front of me, but these bar end mirrors, I really dig them. I'm not looking at my elbows at all. I can definitely see behind me. It has this interesting little dash that you probably can't see unless I lean my face down, but it's kind of a uh, kind of cheap 90s looking. I like the circle and the minimalist style of it, but it's definitely not the most high tech or expensive piece of gear they could put on here. I like the headlight, the round headlights, pretty cool. Shifting, shifts smooth. The clutch seems really good. It's very, this bike, it feels, it's confidence inspiring. It feels well made. I mean, all new bikes do probably, but it's not rattly or weird. Uh, feels solid. The suspension is stiff, but in a good way, solid suspension. It's not squishy or shitty. Interesting when you are doing a demo ride in a big city like this. Not a huge city, but a decent sized city. Uh, there's a lot of stoplights. The seat is uh, stiff. It's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely not squishy or padded. I wouldn't call it lush or plush. It feels very uh, utilitarian. Like it's there to keep you off the motorcycle, not to make you comfortable. That's the whole deal with these bikes. That's their whole marketing aesthetic is that it's supposed to be about simplicity and the return to a simpler time of motorcycling, which is why it only has one cylinder, I guess. <laughs> Although it's got, these have uh, some modern technology features. The point is it's supposed to be just pure motorcycling bliss. Two wheels, a motor, and a seat. And to a degree, I think they've succeeded in invoking that feeling, even though I know there's more technology under the hood, so to speak. Obviously, it doesn't technically have a hood. It's fun to ride. These bikes, these 401s are insanely fun to ride. I can see why the KTM is so popular. It's, again, not intimidating. It's like the super right amount of fun in a package that doesn't make me afraid to enjoy the fun. Doesn't cause me to spend all my time thinking about controlling the fun. The Vitpillin's got more streetier tires, so they're a little bit more confidence inspiring on these twisties than the ones on the Spark Pillin. Downshifting, super smooth, no problems. No problems, not jerky or anything. Leans over nice. All right, it always pisses me for redlining it. Sorry guys if I'm holding you up. I don't think I am because they're not even in sight. My hands definitely would get tired riding this for any length of time. Leaning forward, I gotta get my weight off the bars. So you gotta get your core muscles working when you're sitting like this to keep your weight off the bars for sure. Oh yeah, she'll lean in. If you were a good rider, and let's be honest, I'm not, I could really see how much fun you could have pushing this thing in corners like this. It, it just, it's got, definitely got more than I'm giving it, than I'm asking of it right now. Oh, stop sign right at the bottom of this hill is unfortunate. It's, it's just fun in a totally different way from the last few bikes I said were just fun. I mean, motorcycling is just fun, but like somebody said in one of the videos I watched said it's like a really fast bicycle, which I get that to a degree in, in terms of it doesn't feel like there's a lot underneath you. It's light and agile and um, minimal. It's so narrow because it's a single that it kind of does feel like a bicycle. Like you kind of forget it's under you. It feels like flying, especially lean forward like this. I basically feel like Superman. It's easy to forget that you're piloting a machine. And again, I think the biggest difference between the Spark Pillin and the Vit Pillin is the seating position. So if you want a sportier ergo, look at the Vit. If you want to sit up more upright and be more comfortable all day than the Spark Pillin. But uh, for me, it's definitely the Spark, but my point is, otherwise they're pretty similar. If you just want a fun ripping around town bike, no frills, no muss, no fuss. And they're not super expensive. They're like 6,300 MSRP, proven motor. It's been around for a while. I mean, you're basically riding a restyled KTM 390 Duke. So if, this, if the 390 Duke is a little severe looking for you, here's a way to get into one without uh, looking like you're riding on a, ch a child's drawing of a motorcycle, basically. Something I would have drawn as a 10 year old doodling. 
looks like a rocket bike with wheels. This one does not. It looks more like a speeder bike. It's a lot like a speeder bike, especially this white one, I feel like. You know what? The more I think about it, it's very speeder bike-esque. That tail end looks like a speeder bike. There's a lot of speeder bike pieces here to this motorcycle. So if you've ever wanted to own a speeder bike, this is the closest you're gonna get. Damn it, I just talked myself into one. Now I really want one. I am a nerd. That is the Husqvarna Vitpillen 401, the sport bike ergoed version of the KTM 390 Duke. So if you have any questions about the bike, please leave them in the comments. I am by no means an expert, but I can at least tell you my experience riding it. What do you think of the bike? Tell me that in the comments. I'm curious. What do you think of the appearance and would you ride one? I appreciate you watching. Please, if you got any, you got some entertainment or some information out of this video, go ahead and just hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't for more motorcycling shenanigans. And as always, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh shit. Kill switch myself.